everybody. Welcome to Franklin Park Zoo. My name is Selena and I'm a keeper here in the tropical forest working with our friends, the gorillas. Just to let you know, we really miss you guys. We hope you're safe at home and riding out this pandemic and we can't wait to see you when you get back. But we thought we'd bring a little zoo to you on this beautiful day. Today we have four gorillas on exhibit from our troop. This is Cambiri and Aziza, the sisters, just hanging out as sisters would do during a pandemic. The birds are talking to us. Let's see who else is on exhibit. Look who it is. It's Kiki, Aziza and Cambiri's mom. Also out there with them today is their dad, Katombe, but who knows where he is. He probably built himself a nice quiet nest in a little corner of the exhibit and is just having some me time. You folks at home who are with your kids, you understand what it means to be me time. Now, the interesting thing about our group here at Franklin Park is that we actually have five gorillas, though if you come to the zoo, you'll only see four at a time. This is because we have two males. In the wild, males would not be in the same group unless they were very, very young, pretty much babies. So in a situation like this, we don't wanna to mix two males together. But special about Franklin Park is we have a fission fusion group. What this means is that the three females are always out every day and the male that with them changes every day. So today it's Kit, tomorrow it'll be Joe. This is interesting because it gives each male a chance to have the girls all to himself and be the silverback of the group rather than having to compete with each other. I guess the girls found dad before we did. So over here is Kit, he's 33 years old. Now like I said, we have two males in this group at Franklin Park Zoo. The interesting thing about Joe is that he's actually distantly related to this family of gorillas. However, he was born in the Bronx Zoo and was brought here when he was around four years old. So the role he plays within the group, other than being the silverback when it's his day on exhibit, is actually sort of like a foster son to Kiki. He came here when he was very young. And let's say an uncle to the girls. For Kit, he's just the other guy in the house. Now, just because we don't have guests here at the zoo today doesn't mean that the gorillas are getting any less attention from their keepers. In fact, we are constantly trying to come up with new ways to keep our animals active and entertained. Some of the things that we've been trying lately include fire hose cubes, new balls stuffed with greens, browse, which is leaves from outside. Now that it's spring, trees are starting to bud and the gorillas love to strip bark and eat leaves. In addition to that, we're doing our regular everyday activities just like you would see if you were here right now. At 2 o'clock p.m. every day, they get a forage feed of some of their vegetables from the morning, cut up and spread it from the exhibit from above. This is really fun for them because they get to look around and forage and keeps them active and interested. We hope you guys are using this time at home to learn a lot about your animal friends at the zoo and everywhere else. We want you to know as much about the world as you can when you come back to us so that you can tell us all about it. One of the things that we're going to help you with right now is learning two ways to say our favorite tropical forest phrase. That phrase is, we love gorillas. Let's start with ASL, American Sign Language. You're going to start like this. We love gorillas. This is a verified gorilla move. We've seen it all the time on this habitat. So make sure you get it right. That's we love gorillas. We've learned it in ASL, now let's try it in Spanish. The phrase, we love gorillas, in Spanish is, me encantan los gorilas. That's really, I love gorillas, which is totally true. Me encantan los gorilas. Now you folks at home already know that gorillas and humans have a lot in common, and that means that they can catch bugs and foods from us on an everyday basis. Because of that, and because of the current situation with COVID-19, we are taking extra precautions to keep our friends safe. We're a part of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums Eight Taxon Advisory Group. It's a mouthful, but it's very important to follow their recommendations. Some of the things that they've encouraged us to do include social distancing between keepers and gorillas, increased disinfecting in all gorilla areas behind the scenes, and limiting the amount of staff interacting with the gorillas. On top of that, we already wear gloves and face masks every day to protect our friends, and we're continuing to do that to make sure that we get through this pandemic with no problems. Another way that you can help Aziza and Cambiri's wild friends and family is to donate your cell phone. Cell phones contain a mineral called coltan that is mined from habitats where gorillas would live in the wild. By recycling your cell phone, you're reducing the need to mine coltan and providing more space for gorillas in the wild. Aziza and Cam are really into it, and I hope you are too. When the zoos open back up, we hope to see this box filled to the brim with your old electronics that you have brought here to recycle and help your gorilla friends in the wild. Until then, we hope you guys are staying safe at home, know that we're thinking of you and we miss you, and we cannot wait to see you when the zoo's back open. 
Until then, I'm Selena in the tropical forest, and join us every day at 1.30 on Zoo to You.